What's going on today guys? Welcome to my hotel room because I'm on work travel once again. So let me start off by saying I debated for a couple of weeks whether or not to even make this video and ultimately I decided it was important enough to make. But if you're a recent subscriber, it's okay if you want to go ahead and click the video off right now because to be honest, it's probably not for you. But if you've been around here for the last year, year and a half, two years, something like that, hopefully you stick around because some things that you've seen on the channel may end up making just a little bit more sense. So as I've continued to make more videos, more of my friends and family have been popping up on the channel, whether they're motorcycle friends or their actual family, like Kristen, who pops up in all the travel videos and even some of the other videos that I do on the channel. And specifically, this video is going to be about my son Noah, who's popped up in a lot of racing videos recently over the course of the last year as he's gotten more involved in motorcycling. But those of you astute viewers may have noticed that over the course of the last year, year and a half, he's been appearing in videos. We've never once showed his last name. Whether you've seen his Instagram account pop up, it says Noah. Whether you've seen the back of his jersey, it says Noah. Whether you've seen his number plate, it says Noah. But if you listen really closely in one of the videos, you might have heard his last name. Seventh place, Noah Foster. So part of the reason we never used his last name was to alleviate some of the confusion when we were out at the racetrack. So we just decided to put his first name on things. It made things much easier. The other part of the reason was I didn't want to have to answer that question here on YouTube, but now I can kind of answer that question because it has the answer I want it to be. So for a little over a year now, he's been asking to change his last name to Orsini to match mine. So I talked to his mom about it. She was fine with it. So a few weeks before his ninth birthday, which was back early in May, uh, we went in, got all the paperwork notarized, turned it into the court. And a few days before his birthday, we made it official. So for his birthday, not only did he get new riding gear, but he also got a new last name to go with it. So now we're going to cut to just a little bit of that footage so you can see what his reaction was. What's that name on the back? That's my. Oh. Is that right? Do we need um, to reorder that, and get it fixed? Cool. Oh, did you finally get my last name changed? Yep. <laughs> oh. Have you been on the ECA website? Yeah. No, you haven't? No. Because you'd say it's been changed yeah. already. No. We got your name changed about a week ago. <laughs> You're official. You're a Guido now. <laughs> I like this one better. All right, so as you can see from his reaction, he wasn't overly surprised that we changed his last name. He knew it was just a matter of time, but he was still happy about it, and I think he was probably a little bit more happy about the riding gear. So now if you go onto his Instagram, it says Noah Orsini, and now if you see the last name on his jersey, it says Orsini. If you look at his number plate, it still just says Noah because I'm not buying new number plates. But speaking of number plates and racing, Earlier in the season, he got his first Enduro victory ever. So he's, he was top of the podium, and I shared a video on that. And I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it. But then when Hair Scramble season started, he started out with a fifth place and a fourth place. So what happened since we changed his last name to Orsini? Well, the next Hair Scramble, he scored third. <laughs> third place! No! Orsini! The Hair Scramble after that, he scored third. And then this past weekend, we went to an enduro and he scored second. So he hasn't finished off the podium since the name change. Is it because we changed his name? I don't know, I can't say for sure, but we'll see how long that streak lasts. So I hope that clears up a little bit of confusion. It's now Noah Orsini, Mario Orsini, it all makes sense. I'm sure Kristen's still waiting on me to make it Kristen Orsini, but we'll, we'll take care of that soon enough. That video's not about her, this video's about Noah. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys so there's no more confusion about it. He really is my son, we have the same last name now, and he's kicking some ass out there racing. So I'm looking forward to uh, following along the rest of his race season. I hope you guys will go over and subscribe to the ECEA Youth Racing channel on YouTube. I'll link that. I think I can link it up here. I'll also link it down in the description below because uh, I'm putting together the videos and they're turning out really fun so far this season. And I think we're going to have a lot of great videos left to come. So. For those of you that stuck with this video, thank you very much. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, 
this is the place to be. I'm not taking any questions on the name change. Noah and I are just happy that that's done. And uh, as always, talk to you again soon.